Welcome to what my kitchen looks like right now. <laughs> if you couldn't tell from my last video, this is all the stuff that was inside of my car. Most of it. Um, obviously, his car seat and his stroller and oil and stuff and some random box that was in my back seat. But this is all the stuff that was in my car that I have to clean up and go through. Um, what's up, guys? I look a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this light on so you guys can see better. Um, I've had better days. Uh, again, thank you guys. Oh, is that like mold in there? Cause that's not okay. But uh, I've been pretty down. I've been okay for what's been going on, but I've been pretty down. Um, it's just anxiety and depression. It's just symptoms of it. And, you know, I'm not in my word as I should. I'm not focused really on God. I've just been kind of existing, as I told you guys. Like, So it's just like, stuff's piling up. Like, I've got a sink full of dishes. And just all that crap. And just my house. It, it looks as if I fail. So today, I said that I was going to kind of get myself up. Um, I thought about going to church this morning. I don't think I'm going to go. Um, if I go, it'll probably be for evening service. I'm um, just not ready to be around a bunch of people right now. I'm in a very, very bad place. But I am going to feed my spirit man. I'm going to listen to um, preaching DVDs and inspirational songs. And I'm going to try to get myself motivated to do something positive. Number one is to clean. Um, I'm about to feed my son something because... <laughs> You know, we need some food in this house, but um, I'm going to figure out something to feed him. We may bundle up and walk to the store late, late, later. It's not too far from my house. I can just make sure he's wrapped up with a blanket and um, put him in the stroller because it's been chilly out here. It's really been, like, cold. So, you know, fall, winter is coming. And then maybe come home and do my planner because I have a bunch of appointments um, that I need to make sure that I meet. One is with um, the Help Ministries. It's a church that helps um, with back rent, and they call me back for another interview. So, fingers crossed that they help me pay my landlord so that I don't get evicted. I've already lost my car. I don't want to lose my home, <laughs> um, and I gotta gear up and get myself prepared to work both of these jobs again. I'm literally working one job, getting off working another. Uh, sometimes not even sleeping in between until I just crash and then it's time for another job so it's, it's been a lot so vlogging hasn't been a main priority I'm also going to try to um, make some jewelry make some people have asked me and I need all the extra income I can right now so hopefully I have the items that are needed to make these orders because I could totally use that money as well <clears throat> I'm just kind of at my wits in right now <laughs> I just I just got to keep moving because if I stop moving it all just dumps and it just feels terrible but um after that I'm going to clean I'm going to feed my baby and I'll check back in with you guys later all right we haven't vlogged in a long time humble boy what you doing eating my cereal what kind of cereal you got milk all over your face. What were you doing? Swimming in the cereal bowl? Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't get much done. I did make some progress. Of course, this just looks different. Um, I realized that I didn't have anything in the house to feed my baby. So I have, um, I had a couple of dollars that I've been holding on to because I had to pay my rent. I've been trying to collect all of that. Um, So, but we needed food and I don't get my stamps until the 12th. I don't know what happened, like, I don't know what happened. I guess I just didn't, I don't know what happened, honestly. I do have some chicken breast, so I just got like, I did like budget shopping. I got us some lunch meat, cause I had some bread. The bread was only a dollar at the dollar store. I got some lunch meat and cheese, so we can have sandwiches and grilled cheese, cause I have some soup inside of the kitchen. I hate these things here, but because they're so unhealthy. But 
I mean, it'll get us through until I get um, either a paycheck or my stamps, which is two weeks. We got to go and do that. And by no means, me doing this, you guys, is not like trying to get sympathy from you guys. Honestly, like it takes so much, as I told you before, to pick up this camera and even talk to you guys about things, especially when I'm going through heavily. And right now, um, my anxiety and depression, and I hate claiming it, but it's very intense right now. So it's kind of therapeutic just to take my mind off of it. And you guys, and people reached out and said that it helps them somehow. So don't ever get me coming on here saying the stuff that I'm going through is like a cry for like, oh my God, help me. Oh, I need money never that like never ever that i'm appreciative for anybody that blesses my family or helps my family but don't ever think that it's something that i'm like hey do this because if that was the case i would be begging and beating down the door of so many people and i'm just not gonna do that <laughs> um i just want to kind of just it's just kind of expressing what i'm going through right now just you know and it's also something for me so that when i do come out of this that i can look back and be like man look where god brought me from like look where you were like we had to eat noodles and um grilled cheese like you know what i'm saying like but look where god brought me from so that's kind of where it's at um i don't even know so many vlogs don't even make the cut because i just feel like while trying to edit them like it just just is so depressing like you know just to see that but it's like you guys so show, show so much support and so much encouragement like through this process like i know i'm not the first mom to go through this i know i'm not the first single mom to go through this like i know this i know that this has happened and it's like it's just like my brain just is taking a minute to wrap around this because i'm not used to living like this i'm not used to being on welfare i'm not used to getting my car repossessed like i have had a car for 10 years from the moment two weeks after i got my license I worked two jobs and I went and bought my first car and like I have never been this down in my life and it's like for me to be this down with a baby like this is doing some new stuff to me and I don't understand it like I know people face this every day and people are actually homeless without nothing and like you know my gut my, my heart hurts for them and it's like so don't the ones that say stuff like that to me it's like I know that I know that it could be worse I pray to God it doesn't get worse but the state I'm in now wasn't the state I was in months ago and it's just like I never thought it would be this hard to find a job after them like cutting our contract and I guess it's kind of like in my mind I feel like I didn't get fired because of something I did like you know what I mean I was doing what I was supposed to do I was making steps doing what I was supposed to do and they cut our contract and I found myself without a job and I'm putting in applications every day I didn't show y'all that because that ain't nobody's business but I'm putting in like 25 30 applications a day going to programs that career link trying to get a job that'll pay my bills and the only jobs that were being offered were ten dollars an hour then and people were like oh take it and do what with it now I'm spending gas to get to a job that ain't even paying my bills and then people I'm sorry I guess this turned into a rant it's just like people want to offer suggestions and be like oh go apply for housing go I mean go go to go to public housing oh do this go go um get a low income do you think I haven't gotten on a list for them do you know how long it takes where I live to get accepted for public housing and to get a low income property or anything like that it takes years trust me I have been there I was like man I had a decision do I let my car go and just focus on trying to get this rent paid because that's about all I can afford is one bit or do I just let my house go have a car stay at friends places here and there go to the shelter like those were decisions I had to make and that's why I disappeared because I feel like because even now like it's making me emotional thinking about it because I'm like whatever I do is gonna affect him so I was like, you know what? When they came and got my car, I was like, you know what? I can't afford to get it back. <laughs> I can't afford it. And so I had to make that choice. Well, I didn't really have to make that choice. Like the choice was made for me. I couldn't even voluntarily give it up because they came and get it. Got it. So that's another hit to my credit. But it's like, okay. Now we don't have a car. It felt like a relief. Cause I don't have to be scared every morning waking up like is it out there <laughs> you know what I'm saying but 
it's like so hard like getting around now trying to get him to daycare trying to then I only got approved for like three days of daycare so I gotta come out of pocket for two more days which is like another bill which I don't know where that money's coming from or I don't know who's watching him it's just so much like there's so much going on that I don't even discuss with y'all and like if you knew everything you would understand my stance or you would be a little bit more I guess sympathetic some of you because some of you can be just downright ignorant with what y'all say like I pray y'all never ever have to go through anything in life that would remotely pull on your heart or pull on your stress levels or anything because some of the stuff that some of you guys write to me is just so rude and just just uh hard hearted like and it ain't even about no tough love it's just ignorant but i'm not even giving play to no 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 satanic crap like that that's just ignorant but it's just like y'all don't know everything and i'm not going to give you everything because it's not everybody's business and that's not what i'm here for the only reason why i'm even putting up these vlogs through this struggle part is because y'all been following some of y'all been following me from way back and i know y'all wanted to know what was going on if i was okay like i'm alive and i'm breathing so that is a blessing within itself um my son is healthy i'm healthy right now i'm trying to figure out if i'm gonna make it out of this and i pray to god that i have a testimony um trying so hard not to lose my faith in this process and I don't think that I will it's just being challenged really hard and it's like I feel myself trying to give up but I don't have that in me to do because every time I think that I'm gonna stop pushing and I'm gonna stop striving I look at my son's face and I'm like never so that's where I'm at with it I'm so busy I really don't have time to vlog like I didn't go to church today again like I really need to get back back in the house of God, at least on Sundays, because Sundays are really like my slow day. I don't go to work on Sundays now until 10 o'clock at night. Um, so Sunday will be my day to go to church. All the other days, I, I can't manage it because my schedule, and it sucks right now, but I have to work this so I don't get evicted. So I can get this man this money for this house so I don't be homeless on top of carless and then I'll end up being jobless because I can't do anything else and then that I don't I can't even wrap my head around that <laughs> so I thank y'all for y'all prayers I thank y'all for those that are encouraging me I thank y'all for those that are, are, are motivating me and sending me scriptures and just sending me quotes and just sending me messages like just checking on you like I love y'all so much and like it means so much to me because I have people that are in my day to day life that don't do that I have people that are my family that don't do that and it's just like it's such a blessing to have people rooting for you to know that people are out there rooting for me and my son and I do not take that for granted at all like I appreciate every last one of you like I don't honestly sometimes I feel like if I didn't have you know the support from the people in the YouTube community like y'all like I don't know sometimes I think like when I needed that outlet or I needed to talk to somebody like I don't know Cause it is, it, it's helped, it's helped a lot. Like y'all have no idea, like that random message that I just dinged through on my phone and I'm just like, oh, okay, like, wow. Like, wow, like they care, like somebody cares. Like when you be feeling like don't nobody care, like to have somebody reach out, it means a lot. And even if I don't message you back, I've seen it. Most times I've seen it. Only time I don't really see it is like on Instagram because I don't under the whole DM on Instagram. I'm not like real well versed with that. But like if it's an email or if you hit me up on Facebook, um i do see all of that so um yeah like so if i don't respond right away i'm trying to get myself together or i'm just like dog tired because i am working two full time well i'm working like full time hours um just to make this work and yeah but i ran it long enough if y'all rocked with me all the way to the end i appreciate y'all thank you so much for tuning in and i will try to <laughs> keep you guys updated through this process but i hope the next time that i do come on here and talk to y'all something's looking up because right now everything's been looking down and i'm just like god i need you <laughs> i'm dropping to my knees god i need you and that's where i'm at so much love thank you guys bye